Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Facebook retargeting using Google Tag Manager. Facebook retargeting lets you display ads to people who've already engaged with your business. This can include people who have been to your website, used your app, provided their contact details, or engaged with your business on Facebook. Today, we're going to focus on retargeting ads to people who've been to your website. This lets us target ads to people as they're using Facebook after they've been to our website. For example, if someone views a particular page on our website, like the shopping cart page, we can then show ads to them to encourage them to complete their purchase. And just to highlight, it doesn't need to be about viewing a shopping cart. You can use Facebook retargeting to promote products, services, lead pages, and other content on your website. Let's get started. Okay, so I've already logged into Facebook and opened my demo account inside Ads Manager. Now let's select Ads Manager and then All Tools. Now we can select Pixels. This lets us configure a tracking pixel that we can use for retargeting and tracking conversions. We can say I have a pixel that I can finish setting up. Or we have the option of selecting Add New Data Source to create an entirely new pixel. Since I already have a pixel that I can use, I'm going to click View Setup Instructions. Now Facebook gives me three options for adding the pixel to my website. I can add the code using one of their partner integrations. Selecting this option will guide you through the implementation steps. Let's select this option. We can now see a whole range of different integrations we can use, including Google Tag Manager, Shopify, Squarespace, and WordPress. You can certainly select your platform and use this tool to add the pixel to your website. However, my preference is to manually add the pixel myself using Google Tag Manager. This gives you more control and only takes a minute or so longer. So I'm going to click Back. The second option is to manually add the pixel to your website, and you also have the option to email the instructions to your web developer. Since we're going to be using Google Tag Manager and we want to add the pixel ourselves, let's select the option to manually add the pixel to our website. We're now given the pixel base code. This needs to be added to all the pages on our website. Let's click on the pixel code to copy it. Now let's head to Google Tag Manager. We need to create a new tag. Let's name the tag Facebook Pixel. Let's select Tag Configuration and choose Custom HTML as the tag type. Now we can paste the pixel code into our new tag. Next, we select Advanced Settings and change the tag firing options to once per page. This means the tag will only fire once per page on our website. Now we need to add a trigger. Let's select all pages to fire the tag on all the pages of our website. Now we can save the tag. We can now preview the tag on our website. Let's click Preview. And now let's head to our website and reload the page. We can now see that the Facebook pixel has been fired on the page. Let's head back to Google Tag Manager and click Submit to publish the changes to our website. Now that we've added the pixel to our website, let's head back to Facebook. We can now finish configuring our tag. I'm going to enable automatic advanced matching. This will automatically try to match details people enter on our website to their Facebook account. For example, if we have a form on our website collecting email addresses, then it can use the email address they've entered to show ads when they're logged into Facebook. We can then test the pixel.
Apart from adding the Facebook pixel, you can also add event code to track specific actions taking place on your website. For example, you can use event code to track a transaction and the amount of revenue for the transaction. You can also use event code to track people viewing particular content, adding items to their cart, starting the checkout process, and more. Today we're going to focus on standard retargeting, so we can close the window. Moving forward, we'll begin to see data collected for our pixel. Now we can create an audience list using our pixel. Let's create an audience that includes people who've been to our website but haven't converted yet. Let's select Create Audience and then Custom Audience. We can see the default settings will automatically include everybody who's been to our website. Let's leave this criteria, but let's add another one. Let's select Exclude People. And let's change all website visitors to people who visited specific web pages. We can now enter details for our conversion page or pages. I'm going to enter Thank You and Purchased. This means that if someone views a page on my website with a URL that contains thank you or purchased, they'll be excluded from my audience. That's it. Now we can name the audience and create it. We can now create ads that target people included in this audience. You just need to select Create Ad. You can also create a lookalike audience based on your list. And if you need to find your Facebook pixel or audience, remember you can click on the menu, then select All Tools. You'll then find Pixels under the Measure and Report column and Audiences under the Assets column. That's it. So that's how you can set up Facebook retargeting using Google Tag Manager. Remember that once you've added the Facebook pixel to your website, you can create custom audiences and custom conversions inside Facebook. For example, you could create an audience for people who viewed any page on your website, or create an audience for people who viewed a specific page. Once you have enough people included in your custom audience, you can begin targeting your ads to those people. Facebook recommends having several hundred people included in your audience before running ads. Are you going to run Facebook retargeting ads? Do you have any tips you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.